So, hi everybody. I'm so happy to be here. I'm originally from Ottawa. Anybody else? <laughs> Want to kill themselves? Hi. Oh. Nice to meet you. Uh, and now I'm living in Toronto, uh, and I'm living in a basement with my boyfriend because dreams can come true, and uh, <laughs> things aren't going well. Uh, he's also not from Toronto. He's actually Irish, I think. Um, <laughs> we say I think because I can't understand a single fucking word that he says. He's like, potatoes! I'm like, Irish, sure, that's fine. I'll never forget my first date with my little potato. We met in the gay village in Toronto and we started the date off with six or seven pints each because he's Irish, I'm a stand-up comedian. If I don't like you, at least I'm gonna get drunk. That's how you do a first date, bitch. <laughs> and we were gonna be cut off because the server came over and just gave us one bill that we didn't ask for and I was like, got it. Settled up and then we were just gonna go to another bar across the street to keep it going. But on our way, we got stopped by a news reporter from CP24 News that was asking people about the upcoming Pride Parade. And she's like, you look gayish. I'm like, okay. And <laughs> she put a microphone in my face and suddenly I was just on live TV. And like most of the white girls in this room, when I'm drunk, I love attention. <laughs> And if you put a microphone and a camera and lights in my face when I'm in a time-traveling blackout, my inner Jessica's like, showtime. <laughs> I will bring the thunder in that moment. And she had no idea that we were completely wasted. And in her defense, this was Monday at 7.30. <laughs> so she starts the interview and she's like, are you excited for the Pride Parade next month? And if you are, why? And I was like, Oh my God, Carol, I am super excited for the Pride Parade next month because I am super gay. <laughs> Immediately, she was like, oh no. Because <laughs> she knew that we were completely wasted and she was nervous because this was live television. Depending on what I said, I could get her fired. Her career is in the palm of my hands. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna question her journalistic game, but her follow-up question was, if the city of Toronto gets the permit during the parade, there is gonna be public drinking on Young Street. How do you feel about that? <laughs> and I was like, honestly, Carol? It's a yes for me. <laughs> She's like, my name is not Carol. <laughs> I'm too much. She goes over to my little potato to deflect. And she's like, what are you most looking forward to next month during Pride? And he was like, her ta 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 I don't know. And... <laughs> some Irish lullaby, like, tar -la -la -la. I don't know. <laughs> so she comes back to me, because she's like, what? And uh, she asks one final question, and I could tell that she's trying to get rid of me, and I'm that person, bitch, when you're trying to get rid of me, I will double down, do you know what I'm saying? So she's like, do you feel that the Pride Parade is brought together in a positive way because of the uh, community and, and everybody coming together in such a beautiful, harmonious way? And I needed to make a lasting impression. So I was like, I do, Carol, I really do. Because last year, I saw Justin Trudeau and he was waving at me, and or not like at me, like not like, like I can't like confirm that he was like specifically waving at me, but what I can confirm is that memory has delightfully been inducted into my personal spank bank. <laughs> and then that was the end of the interview. <laughs> and I'm thinking, who gives a shit? It's CP24 News. Like, uh-oh, I'm coming in live to the nail salons of the greater Toronto area. <laughs> because who watches CP24 News? The answer, everybody. I was on CP24 News for half a sip of a wine cooler. <laughs> My phone exploded. <laughs> I had an uncle that I haven't spoken to in 12 years that messaged me on Facebook that just said, were you just on the news? I was like, where the fuck have you been, Uncle Randy? We've been looking for you.
I travel a lot for work, and I'm very proud to say that stand-up has afforded me the opportunity to perform in places like London and Paris, Ontario. And I was telling that story on the road. I was in St. Catharines, and um, by some coincidence, bitch, the vice president of CP24 was in the audience. And I finished my set, I was selling merch after the show, and she came up to me with zero context and just said, I know you. <laughs> and I was like, escuchame? <laughs> and she was like, I'm the VP of CP24, and when you did your thing on the news, you were a thing in my office that I was trying to make go away for like a month. <laughs> And I was like, that's really funny. <laughs> and she also thought it was funny because then she offered me a job with CP24 temporarily in entertainment coverage this fall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, Carol was fired. Thank you so much, thank you.